So I decided I'm going to ask my friends for selfies and I'm going to ruin each and every single one of their pictures. Why? Well, because I'm bored. Apparently there's a TikTok filter that does this, but I found out way too late. Anyways, I want to show you my little process on how I'm going to ruin every single selfie that my friends send me. I guess this kind of counts as a Photoshop tutorial, except I use GIMP instead of Photoshop because I'm broke. Anyways, here's how to ruin people's selfies. How to Photoshop people? Nah, here's how to Photoshop people into cursed images. Okay, so from here, we're just going to drag the file in. You can take it straight from File Explorer and put it in the, in the canvas. Uh, as you can see, I chose to use a picture of Will Smith. Uh, I like to use a front facing picture as it's easier to get each of the features of the face more symmetrically, but you can use a side angle or any other angle. It should be a little harder to do. Right here, I'm going to choose the free select tool and I'm going to trace basically around his eye. That's gonna be the first thing we're going to alter. What we're going to use next is the unified transform tool and that's just going to allow us to change the shape, perspective, and skew of the, of the selection that we just made. And we're going to just curse his eye, make it bigger change the angle a little bit and I'd say that looks pretty good so we're just going to hit transform and accept that new layer uh, word of the wise common mistake I made countless times and I don't know why it took me so long to realize I didn't select the right layer so make sure that you're selecting the correct layer that you're going to be transforming and here you can see I'm going to do the same technique I did on the other eye And next we're going to start selecting around his jaw. I like to I like to mess around with, with everybody's jaws. I like to make them either smaller or bigger or absolutely protruding. But what we're gonna do, we're just going to get the general shape of the bottom half of his head. Just the, the jaw and underneath the nose. Okay, and now as you can see after transforming, there's actually a little like white space back where Will Smith's jaw used to be. Uh, this is like in the empty space in the image. What we're going to do to fix this is we're going to use the smudge tool to basically blend in the missing areas of his skin tone between his original image and the transformed image. All right, and now that his face is so cartoonishly cleaned up now, we're going to apply the same techniques that I taught you are now with his ear. All right, we're just gonna smudge out the background a little bit and make it congruently as smooth as our test subject right here. All right, and from here, what we're going to do is we're going to merge all visible layers and then we're going to change the hue. There are also like other features that we can change besides the hue. We could change the lightness or darkness of the image. And we can also mess around with some filters like the vignette.
And yeah, that's how you absolutely ruin somebody's selfie in GIMP or Photoshop. Uh, I'd say these skills, of course, can be used to do an actually good Photoshop, but I mean, who asked me to teach you that for real? Anyways, while I still have you here, I might as well show you all the images I've done as of this recording. I got long hair, look like Isaac. And I punch like a Mike Tyson. That was a lie. I'm throwing kicks to a nigga face, got the wrong Mikey. Second guess if you really wanna fight me. Come again when we fight real grimy. Put your drug weed, need to see ID.